Hello, welcome to Florvest Academy. In today's episode, I'm going to be teaching you two important prefixes, ambi and amphi. Amphi and ambi are Greek prefixes, which mean both or around. Let's see how knowing these prefixes can help us memorize words better. Our first word is ambidextrous. Ambi, as I just said, means both. Dexterity means skillfulness or adroitness. Dexterous, which is the adjective form of dexterity, means skillful, especially when it comes to using one's hands. So ambidextrous means capable of using both hands equally well. If you can play tennis or write with both hands, of course, the result might be a little wobbly, but that makes you ambidextrous. It's important for pianists and sometimes dentists to be ambidextrous. Ambiguous is the next word that we have. This is one word teachers frequently use when they are marking your essays. If a sentence is labeled ambiguous, it's a bad sign because it is open to more than one interpretation and it has a double meaning, so it is vague. My suggestion is you avoid using ambiguous or vague phrases in your essays by paying more attention to number one, punctuation, and number two, sentence structure. An equally important adjective starting with ambi is ambivalent. Ambivalent means having mixed attitudes or feelings about something or somebody. People nowadays talk a lot about vegetarianism, but truth is most of them are ambivalent about going on a vegetarian diet. They love to do that, but uh, they can't help eating meat. Or in the world of politics, you can see these days American people are ambivalent about their president. On the one hand, he has improved the economy, and on the other hand, he has ruined their foreign relations. So they have mixed feelings about him. Word number four is ambience. As I just said at the beginning of this video, ambi means both or around. So ambience is what exists around us, that is, the atmosphere or the environment. In science courses, we often hear about ambient temperature, which is the air temperature of any environment. Most of the time, when you're uh, hearing silence, you're hearing some ambient noises too, like the hum of a fridge or the whistle of a breeze. Our last word with the prefix ambi is ambivert. Before we check the meaning of the word ambivert, let's examine the two words that are closest in meaning to it, extrovert and introvert. An introvert or an introverted person is rather shy and avoids social situations, while an extrovert is a person who is sociable and enjoys sharing ideas and spending time with other people. An ambivert, however, fits into none of these two categories, but it has features similar to each of them. So ambiverts are neither extroverted nor introverted, they're both in fact. Now let's turn to words that start with the prefix amphi meaning both or around. The adjective amphibious describes anything that combines two features or anything that can exist in two environments. Amphibious is composed of the prefix amphi, meaning both, the root word bio, meaning life, and the suffix ous that forms adjectives. An amphibious vehicle is one which can operate in water and on land. We often see amphibious vehicles such as hovercraft in war movies. Amphibians, on the other hand, are animals that are known for their ability to live in both aquatic and terrestrial environments. Today's last word is amphitheater, which is an open-air venue used for entertainment, performances, and sports. This term derives from the Greek prefix amphi, meaning on both sides or around, and theater, meaning a place for viewing. Ancient Roman amphitheaters were oval or circular in shape, with seats on both sides. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel for getting the latest updates.